one that I originally, I guess, came out of a, this experience that happened in a class right here at Nyack. I showed a film, a documentary film, which if you have not seen it yet, um, it's a remarkable film that's done about the 2001 World Series. It's called Nine Innings from Ground Zero. And one of the students here, uh, Robert Jackson, um, was sitting in my class, and he, you know, he was a New York City Fire Department, and uh, he was in the, he was right there on that day, and lost a lot of friends, and um, came up to me after I'd shown the film, and he's just weeping, and, uh, and and I remember taking it out of the case, and he just hugged me. He gave me this huge bear hug, and I just handed it to him. I was like, please have this, <laughs> you know, the, the least I could do. Um, but I, I guess I wrote this for him in, in every way. One, the rapture. I remember how the call was on the radio, how time stood still in the stanzas, Derek Jeter flashing across the line to the diamond for the out at home, Kirk Gibson rounding second in 1988, DiMaggio streaking 56 and 41, Lou Gehrig trembling in Ruth's house, Ralph Branca on the clubhouse stairs when Bobby Thompson shot buried fiction over left field at the polo grounds. We had just finished The Sound and the Fury in Stoneback's American novel 1900 to 1945 class. When the phone call came, it was 11.30. I was reading the first section of Go Down Moses. You don't know, do you? The pilots called the sky a severe clear that Tuesday. All flights were grounded. September was a purgatory, the leaves unraked all through the Empire State, was the saddest word of all. Two, forgetting Jerusalem. Louis Gonzalez's broken bat single falls over New York's shallow infield. The Yankees play for the out at home. Arizona fans celebrate in the swimming pool out in right field. The news replayed the ball falling into left over and over. I was nauseous thinking of next year. Three extra innings. The World Series was a rally in the ninth. Emmy Lou sang God Bless America and the West was not so far away. Games four and five were like Israel's man. Tino, brocious, swings golden with ascension lifting ashen hearts over the ruins where glowing souls etherized the night and filtered through the lungs of those in between. But no one second guesses Game 7 news from Arizona. Space seems farther. Everyone kept digging, digging. The Lower West Side is a ghost town for months, a wake of penitents crossing at the mouth of the Hudson. Four. Long boy, ground zero. In 2006, Josh Prager writes the echoing green. He reports that in 51, the Giants placed a telescope in left to steal signs. Thompson denied knowing the pitch was coming.